Hey guys, Jobis34 back again. Just wanted to do a quick vid here on my latest upgrade to my 1.6 remake Leatherface. Uh, still utilizing some of the original sideshow parts, as you can see there, the stand and stuff. Uh, chainsaw, which has been reworked by me actually a few times, even when I've done him in the past. I just kind of made it more gnarly and gross as ever, I guess you could say. <laughs> Weathered it a little bit more. As is a uh, long extended uh, handled hammer. Um, shoes and pants are still sideshow, but you know, weathered up by me. Uh, and the uh, the apron now is uh, twofold. Uh, on the top layer, it's the the one that was done by that that guy Zaz says, and uh, he did a great job. And I I've had more than one of these. I think I have. I don't know if I have an extra one still, but this was an extra one because I had another one and I sold that one. Um, but this is good. And I just made it just as dirty and as bloody as possible. And underneath, the second layer of the apron is actually the original apron that comes with the Sideshow one that I had previously shown and had on him. You know, just bloodied up and dirtied it and made it look, uh, gave it that, you know, wet look, kind of kind of damp, wet, bloody look to it. Uh, shirt, I went back to the original Sideshow shirt because the, uh, the custom one that I had used that came with the apron is great, but it's a little, uh, tight to fit around this body. So I wanted to make them bigger. So I went back to the Sideshow shirt and I've seen others do great things with the Sideshow shirt as far as weathering and stuff, uh, including one's customs. And this is one customs head that I've had for a while and He's gone through a few renditions of, of leather faces with me, and he's followed each variation that I've done. Here's the, the wrappings and the, the leather bandage he wears on it around his uh, forearms. Still original sideshow, hand sideshow, dirtied up and weathered by me. But I really wanted to go more gnarly, more vicious, and I, and, and I, I have to give a shout-out to One's Customs, not just for the beautiful head scope, but for the look of this that I kind of copied a bit or mimicked. Um, I've always loved the ones that One does. And although sometimes I do spoil myself and go for the big ticket items, uh, sometimes I have to make sacrifices and go my own route or make my own customs instead to save money for other things. So as much as I wanted uh, a full figure from him for Leatherface, I uh, couldn't afford it. So I said, you know what, let me have fun with the one I have and let me mimic his style, but make it my own. And that's kind of what I did. And so I, you know, obviously his is the cherry on top, treat the, the, the greatest tree top of, up, up top of the Christmas tree, as I like to say. <laughs> and uh, that's it. So this is, this is my rendition of uh, One's Customs Leatherface with a little Joe Biz 34 thrown in. And uh, I'm really happy with him. And he's got good presence. He's big. He's a big, fat figure now. <laughs> he's very intimidating looking, as you can see there. And, uh, yeah. So, that's it. I've shown him before in different stages. And this is the final stage. Now, I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. Um, some people have asked me, like, how I made the apron look like this on the bottom. As far as the shredded look. And, uh, again, I wanted to mimic one's apron and the look of it but at the same time I didn't want to like directly try to copy it and not that I would even you know come close to his but I wanted to put my own stamp on it so I got a little creative and what I did and and I'm going to tell you guys this little secret of what I did but I don't want I don't recommend it uh to be honest with you because I almost screwed up my uh my machinery uh I have a I have a paper shredder and I actually put the apron in the shredder. <laughs> I figured I'd try it out and see. Because I wanted that realistic. I didn't want to just do it with scissors or, you know. You know, obviously there's tricks to making it look natural. Like with sandpaper and stuff. But uh, I, I didn't want to make it look artificial. So I, I said, you know what? Let me let me try throwing it in the shredder. And I, I, I got to be honest with you. That thing sucked it up. And I almost lost the entire apron. But it was worth it. Because it, it, it achieved what I wanted. Just not as, you know. I didn't envision it as extreme as this, but at the same time, it kind of works for me. So I'm, I'm happy with the, with the look at the end, especially with having the other layer of the apron underneath. So I'm okay with it, but I will tell you that not only did I almost lose the, the, the clothing, but I also almost broke the paper shredder because uh, it got kind of entwined in there and I thought it was done. 
So I, I have a reverse button. I was able to get it back out and it, you know, the shredder's fine. And, you know, I was able to salvage the, uh, the apron. So a little experiment almost went wrong, almost went awry, but it actually worked out to my favor <laughs> in the long run. So I took a chance and it paid off, I guess this time, but if you're just looking to do some minor, you know, cuts and rips, I would not recommend it because before you know it, that thing will, you know, if you have a shredder at home, uh, it will engulf it and you will be left with nothing <laughs> if you're not quick on your feet. So, but anyway, that's my leather face. I want to give a quick shout out to one. I'm also going to be reviewing this bad boy. I'll do, I'm going to do it in two videos, uh, but this is the latest and you guys have seen pictures of this. This is the latest Hobo Myers. Uh, semi-ripped mask showing a little bit of his face with the real hair sticking out and on the side and stuff. Really awesome. This is also done by One's Customs. And this outfit, Hobo Myers outfit, was done by uh, David Tucker, uh, a.k.a. C Creations. And uh, he provided the, uh, you know, the body for me and the knife and the outfit, as you could see his blanket that he's got on the back of him there. And I'll go in more detail with this. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of this. This video is really more about him. But uh, I will be posting a video of this guy very soon as well. And since they're both one customs head sculpts and they relate, I figured I'd uh, pair them up a little bit in this video so you can get a little look on both of them in the meantime. Okay, that's it. Really, really quick review. Really quick vid. So head sculpt done by one. Apron done by Zaz Says. The rest of it, the original sideshow parts. And of course, the weathering and the building up of the figure done by moi. <laughs> Job is 34. So... Hope you guys like it. He'll be part of my collection for now. Until I decide to upgrade him again someday and do a fourth version or what how however I may have many I've done at this point. Alright, that's it for this time, guys. Peace out. I'll be back soon.